Yes. I've been a general counselor and regional assistant for Africa since the last general congregation, 2008. And this is four years of, I will say, a time of grace. It has been a privilege to serve uh, all the society here as a counselor and assistant for Africa. It has been uh, a very strong experience to know the society and uh, to serve all my companions with joy and with uh, enthusiasm. Something has facilitated this job here, I think is first of all for the general himself, the way he relates with everybody, not only the assistants, but everybody. He's a friend of everybody. And uh, the good thing has been also since the beginning, all the counselors, we had our spiritual exercises together and we share our life. We came to know one another well. So this has facilitated the work, uh, the collaboration, the help, the, the new one to be helped by the elders. This has been for me a grace and we have been working really as friends. And uh, I, pre I have appreciated this. About this job of um, assistant, it has also uh, had some painful side because uh, like to deal with the dismissals, I did not like it because I, I used to say, I joined, I joined the society to work. I joined the society to serve. I did not join the society to deal with cases of people living religious life or living priesthood. This has been very painful and difficult for me because it's not on, only to deal with papers. You deal with, with persons. And uh, I've been provincial, I've been rectors. When cases of my former scholastic came, it was very difficult and painful. So, but it's part of the job and it's also part of the constitution. So, it's the way we help the society. For the future, as apostolate, as I can see it, I can feel it from here, I will encourage the society, first of all, to work <coughs> about the formation of our young people. Because we need, as Father General used to say, we need to deepen our faith, to deepen our vocation, to deepen our love for the church and the society. So it's not only philosophy and theology, but our spiritual heritage. We need strong formation. And I think secondly, for me, is education. Is education. And this also is a traditional apostolate of the society since the beginning. The colleges, the youth, because the youth are the future of our countries, of our world. Uh, and I will say thirdly, as the 35th congregation said, collaboration with others, religious or lay people. We cannot go ahead by ourselves now. So I will say at least these three areas for the society tomorrow are important, are very important. And uh, also at the last uh, procurator congregation in Africa, in Nairobi, we discuss everybody about our community life, our life, our community life. I think this is important, to see our communities as part of our mission, not only dispersion. This was, has been for years an excuse for us Jesuits to say we are to be dispersed, we can go here and there. No. To see the community as our part of our mission. And this is important. At the same congregation in Nairobi, we discuss also our mission. Our mission, the universal uh, vocation of the society. This is our specificity. So these two things we discuss <coughs> in Nairobi, I think are also important today for our life in the society. And uh, to speak about this uh, congregation, I think it has been a great, great meeting for all the society to pay attention to Africa as a, uh, a priority, a preference, one of the preferences of the society. 
And my hope is that the procurators, the delegates who have been in Africa, in Nairobi and elsewhere, can bring the news and spread the news, what they saw, what they lived in Africa, to the other companions all over the world. So with this, I would say I'm very happy to have been here serving for four years, serving with passion, with enthusiasm, with joy, yes, in spite of some painful cases. But it has been a very great uh, experience, a privilege to know all the society, to, to, to know all the parts of the society through the other counselors and assistants. So I really I, I'm grateful and I thank God for this. So thank you very much. Uh, one question before you leave, Father Gombe, is uh, what kind of a ministry or apostolate would you choose in the future if you were given a choice? Um, I normally I don't choose. I will wait my <laughs> provincial to, be, to assign me. But um, by formation, I'm a teacher. I did the doctorate in Holy Scripture, and now I'm going for sabbatical to try to read something in the sacred scripture. Maybe I will, I will teach again, but uh, other works I, I'm ready to do, I don't know. To, we have problems in our formation houses to have uh, spiritual fathers or to work even in a parish. I don't know. What the provincial will decide, I think I will, I will do that. Thank you, Father Dompi. Yeah. You have been a tremendous uh, inspiration yeah. to many Jesuits, yeah, thank you. Uh, not only in the Korea and the whole of the society. Yeah, and uh, we are ever grateful to whatever you have been doing uh, for you. the Society of Jesus. And we wish you all the best in yeah. the future. And uh, also, uh, I could affirm that we will really miss you in the Korea. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Welcome.